Hi folks, Greg here from Pilot Institute. And today I wanna to talk about how you're going to renew your remote pilot certificate in 2021. And uh, there's been quite a bit of confusion out there. I think there's been quite a few videos actually that are incorrect. So I wanna talk about kind of what's new. The FAA has relaxed the way that you're gonna get current with your Part 107 certificate. And that's gonna start in March of 2021, March 1st actually of 2021. So instead of taking a written exam like you did before in person, if you've ever done that, now you actually have to take online training, which is free on the FAA website. So let's get started and talk about all the details. So the question on everybody's lip has been, how do I get current in 2021 to uh, fly my drone again and, and be good to go under part 107? So starting in March 1st of 2021, the only thing that you have to do in order to get current is to head over to the fasafety.gov website and complete the night training in order to gain currency for an additional 24 calendar months. And this is important right here. You simply are gonna do the training online. When you're done, you're gonna get a certificate of completion. That certificate of completion is the proof that you completed the training and the proof of currency. Just like in the past, you took the UGR exam and then you kept a copy of this to show to the FAA. Now you're gonna keep a copy of your completion certificate save one as a PDF on somewhere on your phone so you have it available. And then that's what you're gonna to present to the FAA in case they ask to prove that you're actually current. The UGR exam, which was the recurrent exam, Unman uh, General Recurrent, is no longer necessary starting March 1st of 2021. I'm gonna say that again. The UGR dies, goes away on March 1st of 2021. Now I'm expecting uh, PSI will still have it available for a little while, but there's no reason to spend $160 to do this when you can do it for free on the FA website. How long is the recurrent training good for? Now you notice I'm saying training. There's no more exam. This is all about training. The recurrent training is gonna be valid for 24 calendar months, just like your initial exam was good for 24 calendar months. At the end of the 24 calendar months period, then you're gonna to have to do recurrent training again on the FAA website, again for free. So this is the good news. You no longer really need to spend another $160 every two years. Now you can just go on the FAA website and basically do training. And some of you are gonna ask probably, because I see this question a lot, what's a calendar month? What does that really mean? Is it the same as 24 months? Is it the same as two years? No, not really. So the calendar months, the way that it works is something that expires at the end of X calendar months. It expires on the last day of the month, X month later regardless of what day you took the training initially. Let's just say, for example, I took my initial, the UAG, or I took my recurrent exam, the UGR, and I completed that on uh, May 15 of 2020. Now in your head, think about for a second, how long is this good for? When do I need to do the recurrent training now on the FA website? If we add 24 calendar months, what it's gonna do is gonna take us to the end of the month two years later, 24, 24 months later. So our training, our currency ends on, uh, on May 31st of 2022. I hope this is clear. This is actually always confusing to people. And uh, here's a little timeline right here to help you because now you're gonna be doing recurrent training and you're probably gonna be doing before your 24 calendar months expires. So let's think about this for a second. The UAG or the UGR, if you completed that on May 15 of 2020, now you have 24 calendar months during which you are current. You can operate as a remote pilot. You can exercise the privileges of your remote pilot certificate. And so here on May 31st of 2022, this is when your currency would expire. This is when you would need to do recurrent training. Now, because of everything that happened and the new regulation, let's say that you actually took the training on um, April 9th, 19, uh, 2021. We're not in 1900s anymore. 2021, okay? Then what happens is that you complete your online training with the FAA right here. What it's gonna do, it's actually going to reset the clock, the 24 calendar months clock. You did your training early. Now, this qualifies as uh, recurrent training because you did it because you wanted to fly at night. We have a video, by the way, that talks about night uh, and how to fly at night without a waiver. So make sure you hit that uh, when you're done. But from here, it resets the clock for another 24 calendar months. So now can you think about when your certificate is no longer current and when you can actually uh, do the training on the FA website again? That's right. So that's gonna be at the end of April 
of 2023. So 24 calendar months later. So that's how it works. I, I hope this clarifies it. I know there's been a lot of confusion about calendar months, a lot of questions about it. So um, that's important. And then another thing that's always confusing is what about the certificate date that I have on my certificate, right? You get your remote pilot certificate. Well, the clock, the 24 calendar month clock starts only from the time that you took your written exam, not from the time the certificate was issued, which is going to be, you know, probably 30 or 40 days after you took your actual exam. So it takes a while for the certificate to be issued. So that, that's not the date. That's not what you want to look at. You want to look at when you took your actual written exam. So um, and, and another thing too that's always confusing, your certificate does not expire. If you take your uh, remote pilot certificate and you look at it, there's no expiration date on it. Only your currency expires, which means that it's good forever. If 20 years down the road, you never took a recurrent exam or a recurrent training, then you can just jump right into it, do recurrent training, and then or whatever it's going to be in 20 years, and then, and then be good to go. So that's the great thing about pilot certificates is they don't expire. I do want to give you a warning about some unscrupulous companies that I've seen out there already doing this. Uh, certain training companies are telling you that if you buy their course, then it's going to be valid for renewal purposes. And that's a big fat lie, unfortunately. They just want to continue selling their recurrent training course. And, uh, and I hate to see this, actually. Um, the only way to get current after March 1st of 2021 is going to be to take the FA online training for free. Nobody's course at this stage is valid to be used for recurrent training purposes, regardless of what the companies tell you. So be careful. If somebody tells you this, it's just a big lie and, um, and just kind of run away. Okay? And I, again, I hate that we're seeing this in the industry, but um, it's just a sad thing. Another question I've been hearing is, is there an exam? There used to be a recurrent exam. Do we still have to do an exam at the end of it? Nope. This is only training. So in the future, you're actually going to go on the FA website on fasafety.gov. And then chances are this is still being worked on. There's going to be additional uh, training modules that you can take in order to uh, get current. Again, you're not going to be stuck with just doing the night training. You'll be able to do other modules that qualify. Uh, the FA has a program right now called the WINGS program. And that's for many aircraft pilots. And I've done this for years and years now, uh, where you can go online, you can do training. There's all sorts of training offered by all sorts of people. And then it's all hosted on uh, fasafety.gov. And then you can basically go in there, get credit for it. Think about it as continuing education. And I actually think this is a great plan to do this. I, I love that the FA is actually doing this. Let's talk about some typical questions that we've been hearing. Uh, one of them is, I let my certificate lapse. Do I have to take the initial exam again? And the answer is no, because remember, I said you don't, your certificate does never expire. So you never have to do the initial exam again. Starting on May, March 1st of 2021, all you have to do is go on the fasafety.gov uh, website to become current again by taking the free training. So that's how you do it. But your certificate never lapses. Uh, even if you waited, then you're still good to go. Um, another question that I've been hearing, I took the night training and uh, so I could fly at night. How long am I current for right now? So I took the night training on a certain day. Well, the night training qualifies to reset the clock. It qualifies as uh, recurrent training. So from the day that you did that night training, then you're good for another 24 calendar months, which is good. That's the great news. Does the training available on the Pilot Institute website qualify for currency? And at this stage, no. The only training that qualifies is the one offered on fasafety.gov. So make sure that you go out there. Uh, another question that I've heard is uh, people saying, well, should I wait because I'm due for recurrent right now in, in January or February? Uh, can I wait and then just do the free training in March? The answer is yes, you absolutely can. But you're not going to be current during that time, so you can't exercise the privileges of your certificate. So just it's something for you to decide. If you are a full-time pilot, then you're going to have to do the training because you won't be able to get away with it. Uh, if you're somebody who's flying just on the side, then maybe you can go for a month without using your certificate and then save $160. So it's really up to you at this stage. Okay, that's all I have. As always, leave your comments down there if you have questions and, uh, and then head over to pilotinstitute.com. We have the training for night training for free available. It's kept up to date. We have uh, quizzes as well available and, uh, and you guys can get more information than you would on the FAA training. Uh, this is always a good thing. So um, I hope to see you there. And then in the meantime, fly safe. Mm -hmm.